Microsoft has recently announced private link support for Azure API management. In this video, we will see what is private link support for Azure API management. Most importantly, we will look into what business problems this one will solve. Then we will see how to configure it with a step-by-step -step demo. Hi, this is Shri. Welcome to another video of API management. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and help me grow this channel. Let's get started with it now. I got this diagram from Microsoft official documentation. If you are not familiar with Azure API management, I would highly recommend watching my other video. I will leave the link in the description below. You can get it from there. Now, if you look into the private link, private link is a network level capability that provides private connectivity for your Azure PaaS resources. What does that mean is, you will create a private endpoint for your one of the PaaS resource and you will place that private endpoint inside a virtual network. Now, all the resources residing inside this virtual network where you have the private endpoint, those resources will be able to securely access the PaaS resource through a private network. The private network here is nothing but the Microsoft Backbone Network. Now, with this support, APIM Gateway can be accessed through a private link. What does this exactly mean? Let's look into this business case. Let's say you have an APIM Gateway which is managing all your past resources. For example, the backend services like App Services, Azure Functions and the Logic App. Now, what we do is we create a private link a private endpoint for your APIM gateway and we place that private endpoint inside a virtual network. Now the resources residing inside this virtual network can securely access the APIM gateway via private link or private network or Microsoft Backbone network. Now if you have your virtual network is connected to your on-premise via Express Route or VPN, then from your on premises, you can connect to the API gateway securely via private link and you can access the past services which are the packet of your API gateway. Let's say for instance, we don't have this private link. Now, if we were to access these packet services which are exposed via API gateway from our on premises, then the on premises firewall would have to allow the outbound connection to the API gateway over public internet. So to avoid this one, Microsoft has introduced the private link support which will enable you to connect to your past backend services which are exposed via API gateway securely over the private link to your on-prem. Now even to secure your backend services further, we can always lock in API management and your backend services with IP address. Because Azure API management, it will come with a fixed IP address. It won't change until unless you create, recreate API instance again. So you can always lock in with the IP address and also on top of it, you can also lock in with managed identity. So that's where you can secure your backend services with API management. Now let's look at this one. Say you have these backend services which are exposed via API gateway and you want to provide access to this API gateway to an external consumer. Now, to secure this, what you can do is you can create a private endpoint for this API gateway and place that private endpoint inside the virtual network of your external consumer. Yes, this is possible. The private endpoints can be reachable within the same network, within the regionally peer networks, globally peer networks, and also across the tenants. And if their VNet is connected to their on-premise via Express Route, they can even reach to the API gateway via their on-premises services. So the connection from on-premise to the API gateway will go over Microsoft Backbone Network, not via public internet. Especially this one has been a requirement by the government organizations and Microsoft has finally released a preview version of it and they're constantly improving it based on the customer's feedback. Now, couple of important points to be noted. As of this video, this is still in the preview. To enable the private endpoints, APIM should not be VNet injected. 
This means that it can't be configured with external or internal mode. So it has to be either external or internal or it can have a private endpoints enabled. We can't mix this as of this preview. So this is a very interesting one. When you enable private endpoint, public access to the APM instance is not disabled. So for example, if you enable private endpoint for app service, as soon as you enable the private endpoint, the internet access is completely disabled. It can be reachable only via the private endpoint. But whereas in the case of the APIM instance, it is still accessible over the internet. It can't, it is not disabled by default. If you want it to be disabled, we have to explicitly run a command to disable it. I will show that one in the demo. And APIM private endpoint connection supports only incoming traffic to the APIM instance. This is only supported in managed gateway, doesn't support a self-hosted gateway where you create a container and run on-prem. And except for the consumption plan, this feature is available in RTS, premium, standard, basic and developer. Only the API management in stats gateway endpoint currently supports the privately connection. What does that mean is you can still have access to your developer portal without any restrictions. Now let's get into the demo. I am in my Azure portal. We have st-apim Azure API instance and we have a simple Azure function. Let's look at this Azure function. This is a pretty basic one. If I go to the networking options here, we have inbound traffic restriction in place here. It will allow the traffic only from our APM instance. As I said before, if I go to our resource group, if I go to our APM instance, we have a fixed IP address. This doesn't change. So we are just allowing the traffic only from that specific IP address. Everything else will be denied. So this Azure function will deny all the traffic except the incoming traffic from our Azure APM instance. Now, if I go to our Azure APM instance, APIs, we have added our Azure function as an SG iPhone func API here, sample function. If I go to the test, so this is our Azure function APM instance URL. And if I access this one via APIM URL, yep, we can access our Azure function via APIM URL. So this is a pretty basic setup we have. Uh, our APIM instance and Azure function as a backend service. Now, let's create a VNet. We're going to place this one in uh, our APIM resource group. I'm going to place this in Australia East region. Review and create. Click on create. Okay, we have virtual network provision. Now, let's create some subnets. The first subnet will be, this one is for our private endpoints. Just leave everything to the default and click on save. Okay, and we'll create one more. This one will be for a virtual machine. Just click on save. Well, we have a virtual network created and we created two subnets. One is for private endpoint and another one is for virtual machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a private endpoint, place that in this PVT subnet and we're going to create a virtual machine and place that inside subnet iPhone VM. Now, Let's create a virtual machine. We will be placing this one inside our APIM resource group. Virtual name will be SGIFNVM, Australia East Zone. And I would prefer a Windows server. Yep, this one should be okay. Username, just gives the username and password. This is all good. So we will be placing this one inside our subnet iPhone VM. And we don't need a public IP address. We want this VM to be private. And this all looks good to me. And review and create. Now, while we have this VM created, let's create another resource called Bashan. We need this one to access the VM. Remember, we don't have a public IP address for our virtual machine. And it is inside a VNet. Without public IP address, you can't access it directly. So we need a Bashan to access that one. This will be in APM instance again and SG iPhone passion Australia East region basic should be okay and uh, yep this is the virtual network so this one would require a subnet with name Azure passion subnet let's create that one Azure passion subnet just click save close this close this yep we have that one here just leave that review and create Okay, now we have 
bash and provision let's go to our resource group and check okay we have the bash and provision we got virtual machine created now let's connect to this virtual machine from the bash and let's go to this vm so remember there is no public ip address for this virtual machine this is a private one and the passion is a secure way to connect to that private vm connect okay it is uh, loading our vm now okay we connected to our virtual machine now let's open the internet explorer and copy this url just paste it here hit enter just save this one on the desktop to see this has done exactly what we expected to do yeah thomas location denver okay we are able to access our azure function via apm gateway from this virtual machine uh, what we do is we'll go to the cmd we'll quickly do ns lookup on this one this is just to prove that it is going over uh, the public IP address sg apimazure apinet That all looks good. Now we are able to access our Azure function via APM gateway from this virtual machine. Let's go back to our resource group. Okay, so we have everything in place. Let's create private endpoint for our API instance. Let's go to our API management instance let's go to the networking section here if you see here we have virtual network none which is the current mode or external or internal then private endpoint so you can do either in external mode or you can configure either in internal mode you can configure a private endpoint for it but you can't mix these options you can't mix the virtual network and the private endpoint that is the most important point to be noted now let's add a private endpoint for our api management instance pvt apim apim it will be in australia east region click on next yep targeted sub resource it is only for the gateway next we want to choose a virtual network where we want to place this private endpoint remember we have created a separate subnet for this one subnet hyphen pvt let's place this private endpoint inside this subnet just leave everything to the default go to the dns that all looks good create create this one now all right we have the private endpoint for api management instance created let's go to our apim resource group and see we have the sg iphone pvt iphone apim private endpoint created and the link resource here is our sg iphone apim instance now if i go to the url our apim url we are still able to access this one over the internet even though we have enabled a private endpoint for our apim instance we are able to access this one over the internet this is very important in case of for example uh, take the other past resources like azure function or app services as soon as you enable private endpoint for either storage account app service our azure function the public internet access will be disabled it will be accessible over private endpoint only securely via microsoft backbone network okay i'm in my cloud shell now we just have to run a command to disable the internet access this is the command to disable the internet access i will put this command in the description below you can get it from there hit enter the command has run successfully now if i go to our uh, resource group and go to apim instance go to apis service is being updated now this will take a while we'll come back here when this is ready all right we have the services are ready now let's go and check this out this is our function app and this is our um, apim endpoint url let's hit this one and see all right we got 403 and public network access on this sg iphone apim is disabled that's all good so we are no more able to access apim endpoint url from public internet now let's get into our vm and see i have already done the ns lookup now the connection is going over the private link and this is the previous one which is going over the public ip address of the apim instance i can do it again now just to demo that yep it is going over the private link now we are able to successfully reach that private link resource let's close this one reopen again 
just to be sure just copy this url come back here control v and paste it so do you want to save because we are throwing the json response yep i want to save that save as one save because we already have that one before open with cool. this is what the response that we are expecting okay now if i go back to our diagram we have the backend service azure function and we have apim gateway and we have created a private link for this apim gateway and we place the private endpoint inside our sg iphone vnet virtual network and we spun a vm and we are able to successfully access the apim gateway via the vm and we have disabled the public internet access now if this wheel is connected to our arm premises via express route from the arm premise we can securely connect to pass resources via apm gateway over the private network which is microsoft backbone network this concludes the demo if you like the content please hit subscribe like share and help me grow this channel i'll see you in the next video until then this is shri signing off thank you